Hey guys, we're on the from Brett Moto, your painted auto body parts store. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and uh, teach you guys how to remove and replace a 2010 Toyota Camry front bumper. So, damage, not damage. Tools that we're gonna be using is gonna be a uh, flathead screwdriver. Actually, I'm sorry, flathead screwdriver. A screwdriver. 3M tape that you can get at AutoZone or O'Reilly's. We have your 10 millimeter socket. And also a razor blade. So in the last video that we did, we took off the hood. So basically, if you don't need to take off the hood, just go ahead and pop the, uh, pop the hood up. So let's start off. I like to start off in the bottom and disassembling the stuff in the bottom first versus disassembling it on top because if you assemble stuff on top and then you start in the bot then you go in the bottom the bump might just fall on you so start from the bottom on up and vice versa whenever you start to install it start start from the top to the bottom so let's do that now all right so on this particular bumper it's missing a lot of the undercarriage the customer didn't want to replace it so basically what it is is a lot of bolts down here right down here there's going to be uh 10 millimeter bolts that go from the side of the bumper just like these and there's approximately i believe eight to ten of them that just runs right on the bottom of the bumper all the way to the side so like there's this one right here that that supports the under the engine cover, under carriage cover. So basically, there's going to be one, two three, four, five, six, approximately eight of these right underneath the bottom of the bumper. All right, so next we're gonna go to the side of the bumper. There's gonna be um, this little push pins right here. So basically you get a flathead screwdriver and you can just rotate these. But usually it's supposed to be right side up. And then kind of pry them out like that and then if you open up the uh, fender liner you see a 10 millimeter screw right here I'm going to do the same thing the other side. Same thing, right side up. And then just push it out. Alright, so next up is going to be the top of the bumper. You're going to get a flathead screwdriver and there's going to be push pins right around the uh, top of the uh, bumper so all you really do is just push down on it on the middle just like that and they come right off so basically on these push pins you push down on it just like that and you pull up So there's approximately two, four, six, eight, ten of them that runs on top of the front bumper. Right. So next up, you're gonna get a Phillips screwdriver, and there's gonna be 
this one bolt right here or screw that you take off. Just like this. It's gonna be a secondary one right on the other opposite side. Then we got one more bolt right here. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter right in the middle of the bumper. This bumper should be ready to go. So first you pull on the side. Like so. Like that. Go to the middle. So here we have the old bumper and we're going to replace it with our new one right over here. So take off the accessories, put it on the stand and flip it upside down. So on this particular vehicle, the uh, customer already got an accident before and another body shop replaced, replaced his front bumper and I think he did uh, the hood and the fender. So they did a shoddy job basically. They didn't, they didn't put back all the screws, but basically to take off this uh, front grill, it's gonna be flat, uh, fill screwdriver. It's gonna be one right here. Gonna be one right here it's not there one right here another one right here and then all along the uh, the grill area you're gonna see um, they're basically they just pushed in there. So what I like to do is I like to get a flathead screwdriver, try to get in between, and push it out. Should be it. Basically, you just push down on it, and it should just come right off. All right. So on this particular vehicle, it didn't have fog lights, so you have fog light covers. So all the bumpers, when you buy it from us, they all come with the uh, pre-drilled um, pre holes for fog lights. If you don't have it, put back your cover. So on this one, just get a flathead screwdriver. Support the back, the front of it, and you push down on this. There you go your fog light cover. Same thing to the other side. And then on the uh, on the side of the bumper, don't forget these. Get a flathead screwdriver and a push up on it. So yeah. The paint job on this is not that great. It's just coming right off. Another one on this 
side. And then on the bumper, on the bottom of the bumper, there's like holes. And then you have to unclip this. So basically you just pinch it and push out. Should be one right here. Should be another one along here too. And then the last one right here. So on your Toyota emblem, same thing. Just gonna go flathead screwdriver and push down right here. Gonna push down. Then you're gonna have this um, rubber. You're gonna, it's basically held down there with double stick tape. So you just pull on it. So this particular one's very brittle. So get a uh, very sharp uh, razor blade and just cut along. Can you buy those? Yeah, you can buy these at the local dealership if they're too brittle. You can always buy these at your local dealership. And then what do you use to stick it back on? Uh, you put the, uh, so again, the 3M tape that I just showed you in the beginning of the video, you use that to put this back on there. But you can buy those at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or any auto shop store you guys have. Right and what is it called? I don't know what they call it. It's like a rubber. I call it rubber. <laughs> so one last thing we gotta take off on this bumper is gonna be the uh, the metal support. And this one, just basically same thing. It's a push pin. You press down in the middle. It's best with a flathead. One last one right here. And then it should just come right off. And what is that called? That's just a uh, support, bumper support, front bumper support. Okay. All right, so here's our new bumper. Courtesy of Red Moto. So you're gonna turn it upside down. Make sure you uh, put it on a uh, rubber or something that can not scratch the uh, bumper itself. So first we're gonna start off with the uh, support. And to put, put this back on, just push back up, just like that. Now we're going to get the grill. So basically what you want to do is kind of this, uh, I guess, anchor. You're going to put it straight in the holes.
Once they're in the holes, you go and push it down. And then you flip mm -hmm. it inside. The gap. Oh, so the gap is gonna go away once I put the screws back on. Push it down until it locks. Do you hear that noise? That clicking noise? So with this particular customer, he only had two screws. Put one screw there, you need a screw right here, a screw right here, and a screw right here. So now we're gonna do the emblems. The Toyota. And just basically Line it up, and then you push down on it. That's it. So you hear the clicking noise, and that signifies that it's in there correctly. So again, this customer didn't have fog lights, so he has the fog light covers. This should be the right one. Again, these are just pushed in. Once you hear that noise, it's pretty much in. One last thing the customer gave us is uh, lower grill. This is really easy. Same thing how you did all the other ones. You just push it. You just uh, push it out of these area right here. So you basically just line up the holes. So once once you uh, see all the um, oops, this one's off. Make sure it's all on first before you. Actually push it down. So once you see it's all once you see all the holes are in there, go ahead and push it down. There you go. Alright. So this is the rubber piece that was on top. So you always want to clean it off first. Take off the uh, the residue from the other 3M tape. So get a really sharp razor blade and start cutting it off. So basically you try to cut off as much as you can on the 3M, 3M tape. Yeah, this thing is just too brittle. But the customer wants this one back. He just want to pay for a new one. Pretty much all I could do to that. Get a uh, alcohol wipe. I'm gonna kind of clean it down so it sticks a lot better. If you go to Ozone, you got 3M tape, and just go right around it. Do you know what size that 3M tape is? I'm not sure what size this is, to be honest with you. Press firmly down on it. And 
and it's and this 3m tape is a little bit uh wider than i like so you can just cut it off where it's obstructing the whole area So for me, I like to take off one end of the corner first. You don't want to remove the whole tape just in case you mess up. You want to make sure you line up the holes and you pull slowly back on the 3M tape. And with this customer, he's only, so there's like one, two, three, four, five, six bolts that uses these things. So you push it back in there. Then you put this one back. Now the bumper is ready to install. So on this one, you, need, you want to start off from the top first. get the screws on this side first I'm just gonna hand tighten it for right now then go on the sides Make sure your bump your bumpers over the brackets on the headlight and over the bracket right here. Like that. And then you put same thing on this side. See right here, I'm gonna be over that, like that. Over this bracket. So on this particular vehicle, he's missing the lower engine cover. But basically on the engine cover, you wanna make sure this is over it, just like that. And if you have these, it goes right here. You may wanna make sure everything's underneath. Just like that. So make sure you this covers underneath this uh, bumper or it's not gonna line up properly. Thanks for watching our 2010 Camry bumper install. Uh, leave a like if this helped you out. Subscribe 
hit that bell notification. Um, we will link the hood install uh, video at the end of this one. Uh, if you visit us at revmo.com for all your painted part needs. Thank you.